Hello, this is Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya La Rosa Ramirez from Mexico City, Mexico. <laughs> How are you today, sir? I am well. That is good. We are going to ask you a few to ask about some topics today about World War II. Okay. Uh, first question. Was the idea of the atomic bomb a good idea? Yes. Can you elaborate on why it was a good idea? I like to blow it up. <laughs> Alright, any other reasons? No. Okay. This is Espanyar Dabar Faran from Afghanistan. Hello. Okay, today we are going to ask you about some topics about World War II. Now, was the idea of the atomic bomb a good idea? Absolutely. Blowing the up is my. It's just amazing. You kidding me? Who doesn't want to do that? Alright. Hello. We are here with Luigi Giuseppe Giovanni Di Esposito from Milan, Italy. Hey. I got a couple of questions for you today. Alright. What was the idea? Was the idea of the atomic bomb a good idea? Under the circumstances, I guess so. But I mean, killing innocent civilians to scare your enemy is very inhumane. If you really want to talk about it, we'd say Hitler and the Holocaust is a bad idea. Yes, the scale was much bigger, the Holocaust to the atomic bombs, but it's still killing innocent civilians. Mm-hmm, interesting, yes. Hi, this is Michael Jackson from the United States. <laughs> Um, we're going to ask you a few questions about World War II. Okay. <laughs> Was the idea of the atomic bomb a good idea? I am the bomb! Next question. Should Hitler have invaded Poland? Of course he should have. And why do you think that? Because I don't like Poland. Why don't you like Poland? Uh, okay. <laughs> Should Hitler have invaded Poland? Yes. Anything Hitler does is okay in my book. Alright, and why would you say that? You seen him? Look at him. Alright. Should Hitler have invaded Poland? Well, he wanted parts of Germany that he had before back, so I can see his reasoning, but... Uh, he was warned and told not to do so, so that's his own fault. Hmm. Yeah. Should Hitler have invaded Poland? I think that he should have just focused more on Germany and saved his own people rather than trying to kill others. Make him. Next question. Should Japan and Italy have joined the Axis powers? No. Why not? Because they pretty much committed suicide by doing that. How so? Because they were obviously going to lose the war once they attacked the America. Or America. Okay. Should Japan and Italy have joined the Axis? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, definitely Japan, because no one likes them. No one gives a crap about Japanese people. Italy, I don't know. Either way. They have good pizza. Yes. Do you think Japan and Italy should have joined the Axis powers? Before, I guess Italy, yeah, okay, they were there in World War One, but Japan, where the f did you come from? Should Japan and Italy have joined the Axis? I think they should have taken my birthday party instead. Uh, next question: Should the U.S. have joined the war? No. Why not? Because it was very unnecessary. Japan would have done no further attacks if we didn't invade them first. But isn't it true that they attacked Pearl Harbor first? They did not attack it first. Well, they attacked it first, but we were actually invading all of their territory, so that's why. They, had, the, they had every right to bomb Pearl Harbor. In the Pacific, you mean? Yes. Yeah, okay, gotcha, alright. Should the U.S. have joined the war? Hmm. I don't really like the U.S. that much, so, uh, should have kept their a** out of that one. Alright. 
Should the U.S. have joined the war? Well, America. Should the U.S. have joined the war? Well, when action calls, the country needs to act. You gotta protect yourself from any invasions. Alright, next question. Was the Nazi party really that bad? Yes. Why? The way they went about their business was very inhumane. Uh, is that all? Yep. Alright, next. All right. Um, was the Nazi party really that bad? No. They were the greatest party in ever made in history. I mean, what more can you ask from them? Alright. Okay. Was the Nazi party really that bad? Uh... I guess their idea of killing the Jews is a terrible idea, but you gotta understand they also did many things like to pull Germany out of the Depression and to uh, just really bring back the original Germany that they had. So I guess they were good and bad. Or was the Nazi party really that bad? Well, yeah, I guess. Next question, do Russians actually have soldier factories, aka, how do they have so many soldiers? Because in Russia, when you were born, you were born to fight. And your first birthday present is always an AK-47 assault rifle. And you know how to use it from birth. Alright, and do Russians actually have soldier factories, or how do they have so many soldiers? Families make babies, 4,000 babies a year. That's why. Alright. I'm sure that's historically accurate. Do you think Russians actually have soldier factories? Like, how do they have so many soldiers? Well, you kill one, two pop out. That's what I think. They do have an infinite number of soldiers. You've seen, you've seen Hellboy, right? Yeah, that. That <laughs> happens. Do Russians actually have soldier factories? Or how do they have so many soldiers? Someone say babies? Why wasn't I aware of this? Oh. Next question. <clears throat> uh, talk about D-Day. It was an invasion of Normandy in France by Canada, the United States, and Britain. And it was to launch an offensive towards the Germans. Did you think it was successful? Obviously. What about the mass of amounts of deaths that occurred? In what? In D-Day. It was worth it. It was worth it. Oh, it was right. for a good cause. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about D-Day. Yeah. It was uh, a day in the point of history. Invasion of France, U.S., people like that, whatever. Uh, can you talk about the massive deaths? Was it really that successful? Well, there was a lot of deaths. Successful? Uh, maybe not for us. Can you describe D-Day for us? The Battle of Normandy. They stormed the beaches to try to take out the major foothold of Germany and France. Uh, it had many deaths and uh, it, it was eventually successful, but it's probably the most known battle in World War II history and one of the most bloodiest. Can you describe D-Day? Oh yeah, June 6th, 1944, 160,000 Allied troops landed on Normandy. They decided to make a push through the German forces and only 9,000 died, all wounded. But more than 100,000 were on the way to defeat Hitler. And now elaborate a little bit more on Pearl Harbor. Why do you think they had every right again? Just because we were invading them first, which showed that we were interested in them, so they have every right to defend themselves. Right? Alright. Uh, was Pearl Harbor a good idea? Should the, J uh, should the Japanese not have invaded, or were they just protecting themselves? Personally, I think Japan should just take every pilot they had and just, flown the f just bomb the f*** out of the U.S. No one likes the U.S. They just push us around like we think we're nothing. Now, describe Pearl Harbor for us. 
Well, we were expanding to the west in the Pacific, and Japan thought that they needed to protect themselves from us expanding so much, so they decided to take out our major naval, naval fleet in Pearl Harbor, and that basically sparked the U.S. joining the war. Can you describe Pearl Harbor? Yes, uh, it was in December 1941. On Honolulu, Hawaii, we had a major naval fleet positioned there, and the Japanese had bombed the island, and more than 2,000 soldiers died in that attack, and 1,000 were wounded. It was probably what sparked us joining the war. Next question. Talk about some advancements in weapons on any side force. Well, the Russians have always than good with bombs and such. The United States is obviously far ahead and the German scientists are secretly engineering all these new weapons, even ones that use electricity. All right, uh, can you talk about some advancements in weapons that happened during World War II? Hmm. This is a tough one. Well, I, know, I know the Germans are thinking of something really big and they wouldn't tell me anything. They don't tell us anything anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you know of any advancement in weapons during the war? Well, automatic weapons started, uh, handheld automatic weapons started coming around during World War II. Um, Germany started making missiles. We obviously developed the atomic bomb. Um, and there were many actual sniper rifles that started coming around, which led to many covert op operations. And that's about it. Advancements in weapons. Can you talk about different weapons that uh, countries had? The Germans were working on many prototype weapons that would be the basis for weapons that are modern today, like the M4. Uh, name a, the first type of bomb that was technically made. Atomic. Okay, can you talk about the German bombs that were made? That were the first ballistic missiles. The V-1 buzz bombs? Yes, those are what we're talking about. So, do you think that if Germany had perfected the buzz bomb, would we have had such an easy time in the war? No. We would be in ruins. All right. Okay. And can you describe some leaders briefly uh, during World War II? Adolf Hitler, greatest leader ever born. Are you kidding me? He's, he's a perfect in every way. Benito Mussolini, he's a f That's Who is that jump Japanese? No one likes it. No one likes the Japanese. Just not idiots. All of them. Hitler. All hail Hitler. Just bow down to him. Describe the leaders of World War II. Uh, we had Hitler for Germany, Hirohito for Japan, uh, and. Mussolini for Italy, and they, uh, they were the Axis, and then you had Britain with Churchill, basically, uh, Russia with Stalin, and the, uh, and then you had FDR and Truman, um, for the U.S., and that was the Allies, uh, Hitler thought he was doing the country a great deed, which he did really help them, but wasn't the smartest guy. Mussolini was basically stupid for ever joining the war. They don't really have an army and whatever. They, they're they just nothing. Japan picked the fight with the wrong person. Russia doesn't really matter who leads them. Like I said, you got one to two ratio. You kill one, two come out. Infinite population. Uh, FDR and Truman did a, probably the biggest, they had the biggest role in the war, I mean, you know, the U.S. comes in and f*** it up. Uh, and then you had Churchill, who had a bunch of lions, I mean, he's just a f***ing boss, so, yeah. Alright, now, can you talk about some of the specific leaders of each country? Well... Hitler was a pretty good guy. He killed Hitler. Um, 
Mussolini was pretty much just stupid in joining the war at all because Italy was not advanced at all in any of anything related to war. Hirohito was just crazy. And yeah. Uh, all right. Can you describe some of the leaders of each country? I'm a proud American, and um, I really think that FDR and Truman did everything in their power and correctly in their power to keep the country safe and promote world peace. Can you talk about the Holocaust a little bit? Was it good, bad? Why, why did it happen? Should it have happened? Well, good and bad is an opinion question because every Nazi thought it was the right thing to do because in their minds they were just trying to fix their country. I'm not saying that it was okay, I'm saying that that was their reason behind it. Alright, and can you describe the Holocaust? Was, should Hitler really have done that or was it just plain cruel? Well, in my eyes, I think it was 100% necessary. The Jews, the, it's unbelievable what they do in this world. You see a penny, they just pick it up like it's theirs. So they don't own that stuff. Holocaust, necessary or just for fun? Um, well, Hitler thought that they were the inferior race, so basically just wanted to exterminate them all. So not necessary at all. Maybe just for fun to them. Uh, can you tell us about the Holocaust a little bit? Was it really a bad idea for Hitler to do? To kill that many people that really didn't do anything to you is just not right. And I really think that you should really look at the inner soul of the child and know that it's just such a beautiful thing. You know, you just gotta love the children. All right. And... Can you talk a little bit about the Hitler Youth? Well, in Germany, you either had the option of being a Nazi or being killed, basically. And young children, even as young as 10, would enlist in the Hitler Youth, and they would go into war immediately in little squadrons of all people that were between the ages of 10 and 16. All right, and can you describe the Hitler Youth? Oh, basically, you have a bunch of little German f***ers running around, and from the ages of 10 to 16, they just join up. Like, imagine you're in the war, and all you see are these little kamikaze, not kamikaze, not little f***ers running around with an AK, just throwing their brains out. What the hell is that about? Uh, it was children from 10 to 16, maybe some younger, maybe some older, who really dedicated themselves to being Nazis and actually joined the war at their age to fight against any intruders. You talk about the Hitler Youth. Mm. Okay, and do you think that Japan was really smart in having kamikazes or is it just stupid to be killing yourself? In their minds, it was the right thing to do and smart because it brought honor to your family. Uh, all right. Um, and can you describe the kamikazes? Are the Japan just, is Japan really smart in having their own people bomb places, suicide? Well, from my point of view, I think they're absolute geniuses. They're instead of us killing them, they're killing themselves. It's 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 amazing. Like they're saving us the trouble of going in there and blowing all their heads up. Instead, they just blow themselves up. Kamikazes. Idiots or loyal subjects to their country? Idiots. Hmm. You do not accomplish anything by missing, which is what happened most of the time, by missing and killing yourself, because now you can't return to actually do something. Uh, explain kamikazes. Was Japan just idiotic in killing themselves, or was it actually a good idea? No. All right, and can you talk a little bit about the SS in Germany? They were very brutal and harmful towards any citizen. Although there were not very many citizens in Berlin, they were all targeted by the SS for anything. Even as far as if, even if they just spoke out one word against Hitler, they could be hung, shot, anything right on the spot. All right, and <clears throat> you mentioned earlier about the Germans were making something. Do you know what, the, what that was called? 
pretty sure, based on my intel, it was a buzz bomb. Alright, and do you know roughly what that was? No. Now, Germans, we are aware that they had some type of new bomb. Do you know what this is? The ballistic missile FV-1 buzz bomb it was the first ballistic missile ever designed. They never actually finished it, but if they did, bad things could have happened. Can you talk more about the ballistic missiles that Germany had uh, developed? And if they had perfected them, would we be where we are today? Well, they were making long-range ballistic missiles, and uh, they would have been able to kill us, and we wouldn't even have been able to stop them. All right, and last topic. Uh, take as little time as you want on this. Talk about women back at home in the U.S. Shouldn't even be talked about. All right, well, thank you for your time. Uh, we will definitely get back to you on this. And have a good day. All right, and can you describe the SS in Germany? Oh, basically, it's these really bad <laughs> troopers who just, oh my god, you just can't put them in the words. They're just, it's like the hulks running around. Whole German hulks, we'll put them that way. Okay. Now, describe the SS for us. Basically, it was like the FBI that we have today. It, they were, they were the state controllers. They made sure everything was okay in Berlin. Describe the SS in Germany. It was ran by Himmler, who uh, decided that he was going to control all of the population and make sure that they were controlling all the Germans from speaking out against the wall. Okay, and can the last topic here, uh, describe the women in the U.S. Oh, don't even get me. Alright, now don't hold back on this subject. Describe women in the U.S. No. And the final topic, can you talk about women? Alright, we're all here now. We all got flown out to get into this debate. So, uh... Fuck. <laughs> so... Should Hitler have invaded Poland? Yes! Well, actually, I don't think he should have. He was told not to, so he basically was killing himself going there. No, what did you the f though? He was gonna kill himself anyways, look what he did. But seriously, he may have been able to focus on Germany more if he just actually did that. He was he focusing on Germany. But not by killing innocent civilians. He was making Germany f***ing bigger. Yes. Yes. Not at all. Are you kidding me? Shut up. Kill Shut up. Killing civilians is terrible. You're terrible. What's wrong with that? I do it every day. F*** you. Yeah. Alright, next topic. Should the U.S. have joined the war? Of course not. They were attacked! How can they not join the war? They were basically attacking Japan. No, they weren't. Yeah, they weren't being little bitches. Nobody would have given a shit. Alright, honestly, they needed to join the war to protect the US. Every time, dude! Alright? Alright, just whatever. Shut up, you smart ass! Alright, who is out? Who is out? I'm sorry. I think you're gonna have to go. Next topic, the Hitler Youth. Is it really that, like, the Hitler Youth, come on, you're sending out innocent children to go attack and fight in a real war? Like, what is this? It's, 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 it's
It's got quality ideas behind it. But 10 to 16 year olds, no. Imagine having your little <laughs> son running around with a, a pistol in his back pocket, thinking you're gonna kill whoever he wants to. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just not right. It's not right at all. All right, what the f do you think? How do your little boys feel about this? Of course I have sh Yeah, okay. Whatever. All right, was the Nazi party really that bad? No, they were just getting, the, the earth was overpopulated, too many people, they did everyone else a favor, getting rid of like 4 million Jews or some sh like that. Alright, no, to be honest, actually, alright, before in my debate, I was saying, or before in my interview, I was saying that it was kind of bad, it was both good and bad, but generally, kind of a good idea. Yeah, alright, um, you know, they were doing a good thing, and uh, yeah. What do you think? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. F you. Okay. All right. Who's out next? Who's out? I'm gonna go. All right. Between you and me, f face. Oh, f you. All right. Last topic. D-Day. Was it really a smart idea? Yeah. F*** <laughs> this. Hey, you guys want to go to Denny's?